So this time, we are going to add the similar fractions. The similar fractions are fractions that the denominators are not the same or unlike. Now, let's see. Again, you can only add fractions directly with the same denominators. If they are not the same, then you cannot add directly. So here's the steps. Uh, in adding the similar fractions without regrouping. For example, 1 half plus 1 fourth. They have different um, denominators, so they are the similar fractions. So here, is the here are the steps. First, change the dissimilar fraction to similar fractions by getting the LCD. So you, as I've mentioned, you cannot add directly the similar fractions you need to make it similar first by getting its lcd so in getting the lcd it's you are still going to use the continuous division method so forget you put it here lcd when you say lcd that's the least common denominator so if we have um the denominators are two and four so use the continuous division method for the two and four the common is two Therefore, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 4 divided by 2 is 2. There is no common between 1 and 2. So, how are we going to find the LCD? All we have to do is to find like the LCM. So, multiply the 2 times 1 times 2. So, 2 times 1 is 2 times 2 is 4. Therefore, 4 is the new denominators then they make it similar so the new denominator is 4 let me put the uh, plus sign now you cannot just put 1 on as a numerator and 1 in as a, the other fraction in the numerator no there is a step for that so since you already get the lcd we will use the butterfly method so miss how are you going to do that so for you need to divide 4 divided by 2, so it's division. 4 divided by 2, that's 2. Then you multiply it with 1, then the answer is 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2 times 1 is 2. That's what you're going to put. And the, on the other side, 4 divided by 4 is equals to 1 times 1. So this is times 1. Then 4 divided by 4 again is 1 times 1 is 1. So it's a butterfly method because when you do it in the process, it's, it looks like a butterfly. Now, so you can now add this one. So 2 plus 1. Go back to the steps in adding similar fraction by adding the numerator, which is 3 copying the denominators and finding its lowest term and since 3 and 4 doesn't have any common factor then the answer is 3 4 so again in finding for the if uh, adding the similar fraction all we have to do is to change it first to similar fraction by getting the lcd or lcm of the two denominators then after that you do the butterfly method then go back to the steps in adding similar fractions next how about if it's a mixed number? So, step first, still you need to get the LCD of 5 and 3 since it's not, they are, um, they are the similar fractions. So, LCD of 5 and 3. So, there's no common between 5 and 3. All you have to do is to multiply. So, 5 times 3, the LCD or the LCM is 15. Therefore, this is now your new denominator, 15. Miss, how did you get 15? There is no common between 5 and 3, and we need to get the LCM. So all you have to do is to multiply 5 times 3. Then, do the butterfly method. First, you divide. 15 divided by 5 is 3 times 2 is 6. Okay, that's what you're going to put here. Do not just put right away the 2 and then the 1 here. Then, on the other side, 15 divided by 3 is 5 times 1. So, 5 times 1 is 5. Therefore, 
um, this is now the new equation. Then you add the whole numbers as the second step. So 2 plus 1 is 3. And then add the fraction. 6 plus 5 is 11. Copy the denominators, which is 15. Then simplify it to its lowest term. But 11 and 15 doesn't have any common factor. Therefore, the answer is 3 and 11 over 15. Next, how to add the similar fractions with the grouping now? So when you say regrouping, the answer is an improper fraction. So here's the step. Change first it to similar by getting the LCD since it, it is the similar, so 4 and 3. There is no common factor, so you have to multiply 4 times 3, it's 12. So the new denominator now is 12. Then do the butterfly method. So 4 divided by 12 divided by 4 is 3 times 3 is 9. The other side, 12 divided by 3 is 4 times 2, it's 8. Then you add the fractions 9 plus 8, it's 17 over 12. Now we need to regroup this because the answer is in an improper fraction. So again, how to to change into a mixed number, simply divide. 17 divided by 12. 17 divided by 12 is 1, that is 12. 5, then the 1 is the whole number now. 1, and then the remainder is part of the fraction. 5, copy the denominator. Five, 1 and 5, 12. Now simplify to its lowest term. It's already simplified since 5 and 12 has no common factor. There's a simpler, simpler th technique without dividing this. All you have to do is to subtract 17 minus 12, that is 5. Copy the denominator and then you put 1 on it. Now, next, in adding mix the similar fraction, it's the same. Um, change, find the LCD. LCD of 6 and 9. There's common factor between 6 and 9. So let's find the common. That is 2. This one is 3. So there's no common between 2 and 3. You multiply. 2 times 3 is 6 times 3 is 18. Therefore, the new denominator is 18. Do the butterfly method. 18 divided by 6 is 3 times 5 is 15. 18 divided by 9 is 2 times 7 is 14. Add the whole numbers, which is 5. So that 2 and then 3. So that is 5. Therefore, 15 plus 14 is 29 over 18. As you can see, the fraction is improper. You need to make it, you need to regroup it by changing it to a mixed number. As I've mentioned earlier, the easier way so that you don't need to divide, you just have to subtract. 29 minus 18, that is 11. Then, copy the denominator is 18. Then the 1, because you are dividing it, you, there is 1, 29 divided 18 is 1. So the 1, you add it to the whole number, which is 5. Therefore, the answer is 6 and 11 over 18. It's already in simplest form since 11 and 18 has no common factor. Let's have an example. What is 5 12 more than 6 and 8 12? So this one is a similar fraction. So in adding, it's very easy when you add similar fraction because we just have to add right away. So 6 and 8 12 plus 5 12. Miss, why did you write first 6 and 8 12 and then before the, um, and then there's a 5, 12 because of the word more than. So when you say more than or less than, the second number should be in the first that you're going to write. So, so 8 plus 5 is 13 over 12. Copy the whole number, which is, or add the whole number, 6 plus 0 is 6. Now, as you can see, it's improper, so we need to regroup. Therefore, this is adding similar fractions with regrouping. So you just have to do, to, for easy, no need to divide, 13 minus 12. This is a sim simple technique. Um, 13 minus 12 is 1. Copy the denominator, 
then add the one to the to the six because uh, technically you're really dividing 13 divided 12 is one so six plus one is seven therefore the answer is seven and one twelve next what is the sum of three fourth and four fifth so three fourth plus four fifth it's the similar so find the lcd lcd is four of four and five there's no common so you just have to multiply Therefore, it's 20, 20 as the common denominator. Then, do the butterfly method. 20 divided 4 is 5 times 3 is 15. 20 divided 5, it's 4 times 4 is 16. Then, you can now add because it's already, in a, as it's already a sim, similar fraction. So, that is 31 over 20. Again, we need to regroup because it's improper. You just have to subtract 31 minus 20. It is 11 over 20, and then you put the 1 here. Therefore, the answer is 1 and 11 over 20. Next, what is 9 and 1 8 added to 1 and 2 16? So another dissimilar fraction plus 1 and 2 16. LCD of 8 and 16. That is 2, 4, 8, 2, 2, 4, 2, 1, 2. So you have to multiply all of this. 2 times 2, 4 times 2, 8 times 1, 8 times 2, 16. Therefore, the LCD is 16. So 16 and then 16. 16 divided by 8 is 2 times 1 is 2. 16 divided 16 is 1 times 2 is 2. Then add the whole numbers. 9 plus 1 is 10. Then add the numerators 4 over 16. 4 and 16 has, has a common factor. So to find for the lowest term, use the continuous division method. This one is 2, 2, 8, 2, 1, 4. So, for the lowest term, no need to multiply all the prime numbers. Just this one for the lowest term. Therefore, the answer is 1 for it. But do not forget the whole number here. That is 10 and 1 for it. Next, what is 8, 9 increased by 5, 6? So, 8, 9 plus 5, 6. Another dissimilar. So, 9 and 6. That is 3, 3, 2, multiply it. 3 times 3 is 9, times 2 it's 18. 18. So the new denominator is 18. Use the butterfly method. 18 did by divide 9 is 2, times 8 is 16. 18 divide 6 is 3, times 5 is 15. So 16 plus 15 is 31 over 18. Since it's dissimilar, I mean uh, improper, so you just have to subtract. So 3, 2, 1. Okay, so I'm just um, subtracting subtracting 31 minus 18. But technically, we are dividing 31 divided by 18. That's 1. And then the remainder is 13. And then copy the denominator. And there's a 1 over here. So there, this is the answer. Now, why are we um, studying fractions? Now, fractions are important because they tell you what portion of a whole you need or what or you want. Fractions are used in baking to tell how much of an ingredient to use. Fractions are used in telling time. Each minute is a fraction of an, of the hour. Now, or think yourself as a uh, an architect. If you're building a house, you are going to do it part by part. So you divide it. You divide the workload and you take one step at a time. Or if you're a builder, you um, you mix a cement. You need to to measure it first, and the fraction is used as well. 